Hello, my friends. It is time for reading. So today you are going to work on this sheet, if you've already done this sheet, because I know that some people have already done that this week. Just practice writing the words two times on your whiteboard so you've got that practice in. So we're going to need this sheet, and we're going to need your Nat's Cat book. So for this sheet, if you cannot have the access to print this sheet, that is okay. You can create this on a piece of paper. You can draw yourself this picture of a cat and write the word underneath. You can draw this picture and this picture and this picture and this picture and this picture. That is one way that you can do it. It has also been put into your portfolio on Dojo so you can actually write or type in your answers uh, that way using the Class Dojo portfolio. So those are your two options or if you have the access to print it, you can go ahead and print it and write the words as well. It is in Google Classroom as well in the Class Dojo portfolio. We've got that to work on. It is very simple. There is a word bank at the top. We're going to read this first word of cap, and that word is cap. And I'm going to find the picture of a cap. It is right here, and I'm going to write the word on the line. Whoa, almost attacked my face. So that is what we are doing for this worksheet. This picture here at the bottom is probably the hardest picture. If you have had a sibling that has been in my classroom in the last couple of years, they might know exactly what this is. This is a cap. And this cap is actually, you can see it's kind of in the tree. So this cap is actually for getting the sap out of a maple tree to make maple syrup from. And that is happens in March and April. So we do a big unit in the spring about maple sugaring which is the process of tapping the tree. So that word is going to be tap. That picture is a little bit tricky to see. But if you've had a sibling that's been in my classroom the last couple of years, they may be able to explain all about maple sugaring for you. So that is this worksheet. That is part of your work today. And the other part of our work today is to reread the book Nat's Cat. And so remember, you can read along with it here on the screen. You can also read it in Raz Kids. It has been assigned to all of you. So when you go into your login screen, you should get like the two planets. One says reading room, one says science. And then there's a little bubble that says my assignments. It starts with an A. It's a really long word. And the book for this week and next week are there on Raz Kids. So you can read it there. I've also put a copy in Google Classroom and on the Class Dojo portfolio so you can read it on the screen. So make sure you read it at least maybe once following along with me and maybe once to someone else at your house, a family pet, grandma, grandpa. I got pictures last week of friends reading to their animals and to their grandparents. and It was very exciting to see you reading your book. So let's read this together. Are we ready? <coughs> Excuse me, I've been doing a lot of talking. Probably need a drink. Try not to get the book to attack my face. I'm going to move the computer forward. Not seeing up my nose. Good job. All right, ready? Nat liked to sit on the mat with his fat cat. The fat cat liked to nap on Nat's lap. If the fat cat wanted a pat, he would tap on Nat. Nat would pat him. So I know yesterday we talked about how Nat is very kind and just taps him. The cat does. Tadpole last night, right up in my face, hit me in the face. Silly tadpole. See, I always have a tadpole story. Nat was on the mat with his cat. They saw a rat in a cap. Get the rat, Nat said to his cat. The fat cat ran at the rat. Stop it, cat, said Meg. Do not run after my rat. This rat is my pet. Oh, they could use the word dash there. Do not dash after my rat. If you don't know what I'm talking about, make sure you watch the word of the day video.
Ready? Meg sat on a mat. The rat got in a cap. The rat sat in the cap on Meg's lap. Nat sat on the mat with the cat in his lap. The fat cat looked at the rat. Last page, we can do it. The rat and the cat had a nap. That is one cute picture. If you did have the ability to print your book, you can go ahead and color those pictures in. That would be a fun extra activity for today. I will see you all tomorrow.